this is my old engine out of the golf cart. It's been sitting under cover. But I gotta get this off, the alternator, and I gotta get this off. Because I need this for my the 420. Still moves. I could probably sell this. 75 bucks, eh? Someone can rebuild it. I'll have to get some of the other parts and stuff, but you know, I'm going to need some things off this. Probably the mount. Definitely this. I hope it still works. And 100% this. If not, I might just have to get a new one. I don't know if there's a uh, way of taking these, supposed to take them off, or if it just slides off, but we're going to find out here in a minute. So I'm going to bring you guys back as soon as I get some of the stuff unbolted as I'm not going to bore you with unbolting this a lot of you seen it many times so I'm not going to bother I'm just going to strip it down into where I get to a point then I'll bring you all back so hold on tight for sitting for a couple years at least two this looks pretty darn good you know a little patine on the little rut you know from weather, some spider web nest, but I don't know. There's still a lot of compression, I think, in here. It's a JN6 301 CM, and then there's a small three on the end of the CM. So I'm hoping with the 420 cc I'm hoping I don't have to bore down the shaft because it says one inch on it unless it's a 3.5 in diameter but I'm not 100% on what I'm going to have to do here for the 420 when I get it. But this is going to have to go on the 420 so I can run my belt, you know, I to have the alternator for lights and stereo. Alright, let me get back to work and get and try to get this off. Because I already got the bolt all done here. Uh, I'm going to have to go do some looking up on how I'm going to have to remove this. Because I have no clue. It looks like I got a screw here. Screw hole. Oh, those are for that cover. So I gotta figure out how to get this off. All right, I'm gonna be right back. You all have a great one and stay tuned. Waka waka. Afternoon everybody. I've been just a little busy here and there doing the odd things. Really haven't been doing any editing, but I do got a lot of videos to work on. I have been working on my golf cart, trying to get some stuff going here. I'm tucking the brake cables off, sprayed WD-40 all through them just to clean them up. Now I got to get these off to take a look, see how, how they look, and supposedly they should just slide right off, right? I don't know. This is a Yamaha golf cart. So this is a drum brake, and they say I just got to pound it because it's, but I think there's bolts holding it maybe or this holding this on not 100% can't remember but I did some looking up on the internet and it does say so I'm hoping I'm just gonna pound a bit of it away on it and another thing hell yeah that's how my setup is might come along to get it up off the ground I even had to tap down here to get these bolts and just to put some new bolts in to hold this skid plate up. I think that's got to be a little more tighter, not moving around like that, but I think with the engine it might just keep it right there, so I'm good with that for now. Uh, what else? I 
even sprayed these up so they're a little more better and freer. I do got a couple dashes. I did cut one for a deck, but then I didn't like it too much, so I went stock again for the cup holders. Gotta have those. Going on, I think we're gonna be removing this, not 100%. We'll be taking this light off, getting an LED light bar. Not for this area though. Gonna repaint the body. So I will be touching this up, but what I'm technically planning on doing is I'm just going to get this all ready just to go for a ride and stuff and romp, and then I can do all the cosmetic stuff afterwards, which I wouldn't mind getting maybe a little bigger shocks or I'm thinking going with a lift kit, a Jake's lift kit, long travel, I think, and that's just uh, 400 bucks, 500 bucks, I think. So I'm using all my own money for this. I've been saving some money up, so I went and bought the 420 due to the fact that I'm not going to be able to get down to Bellingham right away. And, well, I gotta throw some money into my truck. So I'm waiting for an o ODB2 reader. Still hasn't come, but I'm, it will be here soon. It is nice and hot out here. I did go fishing earlier today and this morning, but I didn't record anything. I didn't bring my camera. So now I'm back on to work in this. And I'm going to try to do this. And I'm going to try to get the clutch off. Right here. You got to get that clutch off. So what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to try to attach a rope under here or something to come up and over. And I'm going to try to hit this, the mortar down, and try to free it. Is I'm having a hard time. There's a few videos online where it says you can put water in the shaft where the bolt goes into or water and put Teflon tape on it, on the threads. Well, I did that, but no success. All right. I will work on these eventually, just no matter when I get around to it. It is warm, my computer runs slow, uh, what else? Yeah, that's my main project. I'm trying to get this up and running. Summertime, summertime romps on this. It's gonna be fun. And I can't wait. I got the 420 for this. Pro, it's called the Pro Point 420cc. So I don't know if anybody knows anything about the Pro Point eng engines or mortars, we call them, whatever you want to call it. All right. Yeah, and I even did loot WD-40 this up too, so it moves more freer. Okay. Thumb this up. I will do another video on when I guess when I get the close to the mortar in. But I even I got to get this this all welded. I got to get new piece, a whole new piece, like sort of like this whole new piece here. But see, I primed it and then used uh, rubber or something, rubber coating, rubberized something, just to keep it protected. So primer. This is where the gas tank sits. This is where my fuel goes through to the carb. To feed the engine. Alright, it's dang hot out here. So I gotta go back in the shade for a little bit and hop out of this heat for a little while. And then I'm gonna work on that. Bam! Thank you. And you all have a great one. Well, I did get it off. Just be a little beating away, beat it with a hammer. 
I gotta clean the inside here. Just give it a light sand. That should be good. Gotta get new drums though. My brake pads fell off. Not gonna fiddle with that. Well, what I'm gonna probably do is, I know I'm gonna have to get some brake cleaner, I guess, and spray the crud out of this. And I'm gonna go to the other side now and do the same thing. And I think I'm just gonna place these back up in there. Because I gotta get brake, brake drums, or brake drums before I can do anything. I'll probably just sand these first and then put them back on. Alrighty. I just wanted to do that because I did get it off. So, bring you guys back out for this one. See how I can't get that off. Let's improvise. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Plug your ears. We go. That's so tight. Oh, no, so she, she said. Oh, there we go. And that feels so nice. Like this has been sitting for two years. This golf cart, but ever since I just started working on it. It feels like it's only been sitting in a week. <sighs> 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 
Yeah, I don't have an air compressor. So I'm gonna have to pick up some brake cleaner. But I got it off with some frustration. And I just gotta clean these up. All right, thanks for watching. You all have a great night. Well, this is the mortar, manual. I will read this, go through it. But here it is. So I'm planning is to take off a few things, like the gas tank, get another type of muffler, take this off and put something else on. So these three things will come off. This will get removed up front of the golf cart. But I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna run this for half a year before removing the governor. Due to the fact that I paid 550 for this, I didn't wanna wait till two months for sale. So I will be going back to get uh, some sheet metal because I got to make some rocker panels or something battery tray so I got to figure out what I'm going to do for a rock rock uh, guards on the bot side of the cart which I think I might have a plan but this is it the 420 it is exactly the same as the 420 CC predator mortar I watched a few videos of someone taking them apart, and it's all exactly the same setup. Just a different name, you know, I don't know. I wonder if that has a cast iron sleeve what it, on the 420cc Predator mortars, engines. Torque twenty point six five foot pounds torque or foot pounds one inch shaft rotor from blah blah blah. You know you all can read this. Alrighty, thumb this up because I can't wait to get this out there romping around. I can't even wait to get it running. And when I do get this running, I'm going to let it run for 15 minutes. Bring the RPM up probably to a thousand or something, maybe a little more. I'm not 100% what how high I'm going to go with it, but I'm not going to go that high. I'm going to do a couple of little revs, tiny revs. And then I'm going to change the oil right away after it cools down or whatever. And then I'll refill it with new oil, run it a little more before I go anywhere for my first romp, my first voyage trail romp. Oh yeah, friggin' rides for the 420cc. Time to get this bad boy up and running. Alright, you all have a great night.